hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how to create this clean and simple logo reveal animation in premiere pro so over here on my timeline i've got two logos to begin i'm going to create a color mat so i'll come over to this new item over here and select color mat and hit ok and now i want to give it a color so i'm going to use my color picker to choose a color from my logo over here and then i'm going to select a color very close to white and hit ok now I'm going to find this color mat in my project panel over here, so I'll drag it onto my timeline. So to stylize this color mat over here, I'm going to move over to my Lumetri color tab over here and scroll down to my Vignette tool, not too much, just something very subtle. And move back to editing. Next, stack your logos on top of your color mat over here. And make sure that both your color mat and your logos are of the same duration. Now, I only want to see the logo on this video layer 2, so I'm going to disable the logo on video layer 3. Now, I'm going to come over to my toolbar and select the rectangle tool, but if you can't find this, you can just hold on to your pen tool that is showing here, and you'll find the option of selecting your rectangle tool. Now, come over to your project monitor over here and hold on to shift to draw a perfect square. And move over to the essential graphics tab over here and select edit to be able to change the fill color of your graphics but i like this color so i'm going to leave it at this color now select this graphics layer and stack it neatly on top of your logos and adjust the duration also now move over to your effects control tab over here and select vector motion and an anchor point will appear at the center of your project panel now move this anchor point exactly to the center of your graphics over here and now we can start animating the shapes by enabling keyframes in the effects control panel so first of all i'm going to select keyframes for position and then i'm also going to deselect uniform scale over here and add keyframes for scale height and scale width and this will create our first set of keyframes and now we can move this first set of keyframes somewhere here and move over to the beginning and drag this square out of our project panel till a point where it's no longer visible this gives us this simple animation moving the square into the frame the next adjustment is for scale height so i'm going to move over somewhere a little bit close to these keyframes over here and i'm going to adjust the height of this square until it is bigger than the height of this logo over here i'll also adjust the width to make it slimmer okay that looks fine let's now move a few frames forward and copy the keyframe for our position over here and paste it over here. The next thing you'll do is to move a few frames forward and change the position of this line to the left of the logo. And this will create another keyframe over here. So move forward a little bit and copy this keyframe and paste it over here. Again, move forward a little bit and copy the third keyframe and paste it. So all these copy and paste actions makes the line move from left to right and then back again like this. So move back to the last position over here and then create a new keyframe for the value of scale height and scale width. Then move a few frames forward and create new values for the original scale height and scale width of 100. That's a perfect square. Now move a few frames forward and change them both to zero. So let's take a look at what we have created now. Alright guys, so if you want the animations to go a bit faster or slower, you can always change the positions of the keyframes over here. And to make the animations much smoother, right click the first keyframes and select Ease Out. And select the second keyframes and Ease In. And lastly for the middle keyframes, you can select Bezier. And now we have a more smooth animation. In the next step, we are going to reveal and hide the logos. So we are going to start with this logo in our video track 2, which is still visible. I will select the layer on the timeline, and then I'm going to select the pen tool under my opacity to draw a mask in the project panel. But to do this, I'm going to move over to the point where this line is visible here. And then I can start from this point to draw a mask. So basically, it doesn't need to be a special mask, just make sure that the logo is being concealed. 
So over here in my effects panel, I'm going to select inverted to conceal this logo. And then I'm going to add keyframes to my max part. I'm going to select this mask once more. And then I'm going to move one frame on my timeline and move this mask with this line. Move another frame and move this mask. I'm going to keep repeating this. And now I'm going to move to the position where this line begins to move back to the right, which is over here. So I'll follow it back again. Alright guys, let's take a look at what we have created so far. That looks very nice. Next, we move over to the next logo which is on layer 3, which we need to enable first. Now I'm going to search for the frame where the line starts to move to the right again. And we want to reveal this other logo when the first one is concealed. So what we are going to do is to add a mask, but this time we are going to be covering the right part. So I'm going to come over here once more and select this free draw bezier and draw a mask around this other side. Once more, you select inverted and select your mask part over here. Select onto the mask over here to make it show once more and move with it. And we're going to repeat these steps until the second logo is revealed entirely. Let's take a look at the final results. Thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial to the end. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section.